the campaigns are always searching for undecided voters. And with early voting now growing by leaps and bounds, there are fewer and fewer uncommitted voters to win over. Mother, Mr. Trump. The former President Donald Trump making a return trip to North Carolina, seeing the devastation there firsthand. That's quite a scene driving up. You see that kind of destruction. Actually incredible. But through it all, voters in North Carolina are still casting their ballots in record numbers for early voting. And Trump, once a skeptic of the process, now embraces it. They tend to be very Trump areas and uh, that the people would come out like that. I think it's a great sign. Our recent Fox News poll shows that a majority of registered voters, 52 percent, plan to vote early. Millions of voters just in a handful of battleground states have already felt comfortable with who they want to vote for. And that really changes how both campaigns are campaigning in this final stretch. And when it comes to those early voters, Vice President Kamala Harris appears to have an edge. Our poll shows that she's eight points up over Trump among those who cast their ballots before Election Day, with Trump holding an advantage for those who plan to hold off until November 5th. Harris, meantime, not just looking for early voters, but appearing alongside former Republican Congresswoman and Trump critic Liz Cheney, pushing for crossover GOP support. I actively invite good ideas from wherever they come. That's why I'm going to have a Republican in my cabinet, by the way. And our poll shows there is already a sharp divide among voters about the fairness of this election, with Trump voters far more skeptical of the system. In Washington, Doug Luzader, Fox News.